All right, guys, we're at FedEx again, and man, that's a big box. I wonder what could be in it. Let's go home and check it out. Hey, guys, what's going on? We've got a really cool unboxing today. These are Zebra Pyros um, from the originator of the gene, um, a guy named Bob out in California, awesome guy. Best wishes to him. Thanks a lot for this. And uh, so I wanted to get this project going, and I want to get this... Um, this mutation, uh, which is seems to be a polygenic trait, um, bred into some other stuff. So, um, I bought all of his 2020 babies, um, aside from four holdbacks that he kept. So, this is all the zebras I know of um, that you're going to see around. Wow, there are some lookers in here. All right. Let's check this out. I know a couple of these are 2019s. This has got to be one of them right here. It just shed during shipping, so what better time to show an animal. Now that is a proper zebra right there. So as you can see, they are characterized by big white bands, high black, and uh, kind of connected pattern along the bottom. See that white connects? Um, really cool bellies on these guys all the time. Um, yeah, awesome. So that's got to be a 2019. Well, it says so right on the lid. He's also written the pairings on here. Go inside, buddy. This little guy does not want to go back in. I don't blame him. It's cold in this thing, too. But they're all alert. Oh, wow. Ooh, that thing is a smoker. Get this thing out. I'm shaking. I'm so excited. Oh man, I think this might have been might be the best zebra that I've seen. This thing is ridiculous. It doesn't even have white bands. It has red and black saddles. This is crazy. This is un like unlike any other pyro you're gonna see. Get him to hold still. Look at that head. Sorry, my hands are so shaky. <laughs> I just had a coffee with four shots in it, and I'm really excited, so not a great idea before a video. Let's see if this is a male or female. I think it's a female. Yep. Those are just little scent glands right there. Yep, female. Cool. Now there's a hold back for you. All right, let's check, take a look at a couple more, and uh, we'll just keep this short. I can tell that one's really nice right there. This one's got a lot more black. Oh, sorry. Same sort of thing. Lots of white, but this one's a higher black animal. Oh, man. Okay, now imagine this in Sense Hypo, in Applegate, in Hypo E especially. And I really think albino um, zebras are going to be one of the most impressive. These are going to be amazing, amazing things to bring into the pyromorph game, which you guys know. I'm really into. If you haven't seen my video on unboxing from uh, Europe, go back probably seven or eight videos and uh, you can see that and you can see all of the pyromorphs except for Russo Aberrant. That's really the only one I didn't feature. Wow, this one has almost no red. That is where the zebra name came from right there. Dang. That is awesome. The triad count on this thing, there are so many bands. It's got to be in the 70s. That is so cool. I'll have to count some of these guys. These are probably the highest band count of any pyro. Also a female. Ha oh, ha, sweet. All right, guys. Well, I'll uh, post some pictures of these guys and stuff and, you know, go through them. And, but I think I found a couple of the best ones right off the bat. So anyway, um, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 500 subs by the end of the year, so let's do that. Um, turn your post notifications on so that you're going to know when we post a video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to get a feeding video up soon. Um, these guys haven't eaten yet, so it'll be the perfect way to do that. I can show you guys some of the feeding tricks that are going to be needed to get these guys going. And there will be lots of zebras available, so keep an eye out uh, on Morph Market and on my Facebook page, Prismatic Reptiles. See you guys later.